Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Uh, today I'm coming to you a little bit late with your weekly oracle card reading and apologies for that. I'll try and get that out by Sunday next week. Um, but uh, basically I want to bring to you a message uh, for your weekly guidance or for whatever it is that you need to listen to uh, this week. And this uh, goes out especially to my regular uh, subscribers and viewers because I know there are some of you who come to this reading every week. And uh, just a note, you know, I was uh, unwell for a bit, but I'm going to be starting doing the pick a card readings again at some point in the next few weeks. So um, yes, just do it. So we can go right ahead and we have the option one, two and three. There are various different decks here uh, this week. I think this is the God and Goddesses and this is the Enchanted Map Oracle. And this is, uh, hang on a sec, it's the Getting Into the Vortex deck, and that's the cover of it here. It's by, yeah, it's channeled by Esther and Jeremy Higgs. Okay, so uh, go ahead and pick uh, a deck for a message that you feel um, you need to hear right now. Uh, so any question that you may have, or simply just to help you guide your week. And I'm going to go ahead and begin the reading. So just once again, it's deck one, two, and three. And I'm going to go ahead and begin here with the deck one. So the question we're asking today is, what is it that you need to know at this moment? And what is it that's relevant to your life at this point? For those of you who've chosen the first deck, what is it that you need to hear today? And we have the, uh, what is this here? It's Danva, Danvantari. Okay, so it's the god of medicine. And the apologies for that, uh, just cut off there. So the card is Danvantari. Uh, excuse me if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. And it's the god of medicine. And I'm going to read the message on the back because each of these cards come with a message on the back it doesn't have a guidebook anything like that and there's a mantra that comes with it um, and it's the meditation uh, that comes along is I offer homage to Danvantari the portion of Vishnu who initiated the practice of medicine he holds a container full of ambrosia and simply remembering him removes all physical suffering so the blessings are freedom from disease, greater health and well-being, mastery of medical sciences, spiritual knowledge and liberation. Okay, so there are so many messages that I'm getting with this card here, and I'm just going to say them all out. They obviously will not apply to every one of you. They will be quite different to every one of you. The first thing I'm hearing is that um, there's medicine is a gift. Okay. So uh, this is something to be appreciated and to be enjoyed. And even if uh, it is being abused by certain pharmaceutical companies or it's not being practiced in the way in which is uh, the most, uh, um, the, the best for the best for the patients, it's still, it should not be um, disregarded. You know, we sh um, it's, it's not to say one should not look a gift horse in the mouth, so to say. But rather that what is from medicine, what is medicine, what what is of medicine can also be appreciated because it's a gift and it's come here, it's brought to us to be able to appreciate it and to be able to actually, sorry, there's something coming the way there, uh, to be able to really value it and use it. Okay, so that's one of the messages I'm getting. The second message I'm getting is that... Um, there are some of you who've been delaying taking care of medical issue or something that can could advance into a medical emergency. And it's time for you to actually take action as far as that is concerned. Now, that's just a few of you. In fact, I'm getting the number two or three. OK, so there are two or three of you who have been disregarding something for a while. It's time to take action with that because it's going to come back and with other mighty consequences. And this is not to scare you. It's just to say that. The longer you delay it, the greater uh, the impact of the consequences, okay? The other thing I'm hearing here is that if you've been um, 
thinking of pursuing a course of study or po- course of action with regard to some form of medicine, whether it be an alternative medicine or allopathic medicine, then the the answer here is go ahead, do it. Yes, if you've been putting off studying um, some kind of allopathic medicine or, or alternative medicine, as I've said, um, it's no longer, you don't need to do that any longer, okay? You can actually... If you're in that point where you are transitioning from something, you finish something, you're moving on to something new, or you're at a bit of an odd end because you don't know in which direction to go, well, consider something which has to do with healing others. You know, whether it is uh, a traditional form of medicine or an alternative form of medicine. And so that is, uh, those are a couple of the messages that I was getting with this card. I just need to turn this over and see if it will jog my memory because I got some other messages when I was reading this. Um, Oh yes, the other thing that came to me at the time was that we all, regardless of what is available to us and what is outside of us, we all need to take responsibility for what we create in our bodies. We all need to remember that every action, every thought, every move that we make impacts our body in some way because our body is the vehicle or the, um, the, what we are transitioning through and it actually, uh, it actually impacts everything in our body, okay? So every negative thought or negative emotion or um, every difficult situation impacts the body in some way. And it's time to actually recognize the impact of that. It's time to actually recognize what we've done to our bodies since our birth and how we, uh, if we have been negative towards our bodies or if we have a a negative self-image or if we've been uh, negligent with our health or our diets or our our nutrition, uh, then what is it that we actually need to be doing right now? Uh, We need to be acknowledging that our bodies are in fact the messenger almost or the the our bodies tell us exactly what we've been thinking our bodies tell us exactly where we're headed our bodies tell us exactly what we've been storing in all of our cells and so now it's time to acknowledge that and to acknowledge that if you let go of if you just simply release that which is negative it can also lead to you releasing some disease perhaps that's in it on its way to you or that's been stored in you and that's you know waiting for a moment to be um to be you know some moment of exacerbation for it to shed its ugly head so um so or its ugly face i've forgotten the expression there uh so apologies when i'm channeling i don't really remember um many many other analytical things but uh what I'm he- what I'm hearing here is that it's time to take responsibility for that. It's time to actually choose to be free from disease, and the way in which to do that is actually to simply uh, work on yourself, work on what it is that you desire, follow your passion. You know, because without your passion, if you're not being led by your passion, and if you're not experiencing complete fulfillment in your life on a daily basis, and you're not feeling complete satisfaction with yourself, then there's something in matter and you need to change it and you need to provide yourself with this medicine. You need to actually be able to give yourself what it is that you need and don't be afraid to take action with regard to this. And don't be afraid to consult helpers as in doctors or therapists or um, some kind of healers with regard to this because it's time right now is the time in which taking action with regard to any kind of physical issue or any kind of emotional issue uh, or anything in terms of moving it towards a space uh, of fulfillment is actually going to, uh, well, taking action now is actually going to be the best time to do that in order to be able to reach your fulfillment or reach your goals or to be able to get to that place which you need to be in order for you to be able to truly feel that joy oozing out of every cell of your being okay so um, those were the messages I was getting there I'm just gonna see if there's anything else here that um yeah okay um I'm just trying to see if there's any other message that's coming through so just bear with me 
Okay, the last thing I'm hearing here is that there's no need for anxiety, there's no need for worry, there's no need for uh, concern or drama. You can do this in a very simple and in a very calm manner and recognize that even though you may feel, I'm getting a strange message here, but I have to say it, uh, even though you may feel angry or upset about something that's outside of you or something that somebody else may have done, it does not mean that you need to store that negative emotion in you. You need to hold on to that negative emotion. Um, you just need to let go of that, actually, and just be the best that you can be in any moment or be, be that awesomeness that you are uh, as you stand. And don't be afraid or be ashamed to be that. Just simply take control of that and and breathe into it and breathe uh, breathe it into you and allow it, allow it to just simply be because there is no other way to be. Okay, so that's the message I'm hearing for those of you who've chosen the first deck. I hope that's relevant to you. I guess um, it's probably not relevant to all of you, but um, yeah, let me know what you think about that. Okay, so thank you very much for those of you who've come by and chosen, um, chosen the first deck here, which is your God and Goddesses deck. For those of you who've chosen the second deck here, the question we're asking today is, what is it that you need to know? What is it that you've come here to ask today? What is it that is relevant to you at this time? What is the message that you need to hear for today? In your weekly oracle card reading, or whenever it is that you've come to listen to this. And I think that's the card here. Okay, so we have the number 40. And we have follow the leader. All right. Okay, so this card is a very different energy to the last one. And I'm just taking a moment to feel that. So the very first thought that came to me was that you are the leader. Okay. And you need to follow yourself. But in order to be able to follow yourself, you need to be very clear about where you're leading yourself or what it is that you truly desire. Because you may, in fact be leading yourself down a path that is not really what you want to actually go to. So take a step back and think about where it is that you want to head to and then summon the helpers or your angels or whatever you believe in, the spiritual divine help or the divine helpers that you actually um, believe in or that you ascribe to, summon them to assist you along this way. But the thing that I'm hearing very clearly here is that they can't help you if you've not made a very clear decision. And they aren't able to help you, really, if you are moving along a path or you're making a decision that's not coming from a place of complete clarity and complete groundedness and a space which is rooted inside of you. All right. So this is what I'm hearing here. I'm also hearing like this clock is telling me that the time is ticking. You know, I I know that's a very cliched uh interpretation but that's what I'm hearing here it's like it's time it's time to take this action it's time to go there it's time to actually move in the direction of your goals and move in the direction that you need to and I'm hearing here that with some of you you've come to this reading because you're having some difficulties with some other people and this is not nothing to do with your goals and this is nothing to do with your dreams this, uh, this is to do with somebody who's been annoying you upsetting you and I'm hearing here as well what you need to do in this situation is that you need to simply choose what you would like the outcome to be okay and focus on that yes the situation as it appears right now seems to be dire but let go of that for a second and simply think about where it is that you, how what was what would be the best outcome for the situation and ask yourself what would be then if you, once you've visualized that once you've thought that once you put it out in the world in the form of a thought pattern then you can start imagining how or you can start fantasizing rather about what the pathway uh, to that um, ideal place would be and the time to do it is now and the sooner you do it, the better it would be. Because what you have available right now is all that you need. You have all these helpers that are just waiting to take you along your path. And they're just waiting for you to write the script so that they can play it out for you or assist you to do it. Like if you were a, a writer or a director and you just have your whole crew here who are waiting to actually make this film with you and they're just waiting for your direction. So give them your direction. 
so that they can assist you to make your dream come true and for you to, you know, make um, make your move or make your film or make your movie, quite literally. But uh, But do what it is that you actually want to do. Do what it is that you completely, truly desire to do. And the way to do that is, once again, to come inside of you and to feel what is the truth here. And what I'm hearing is that the truth may surprise a few of you. If you come down and you listen to yourself, you might realize that you've been running in circles or, you know, it's like you've been running in the, like, like I don't know, like this air bicycle or something like this. It's like, like air guitar, you know, air bicycle. It's like you've been riding nowhere. And um, you've been like... Con- in the same space, more or less, and you haven't been able to really allow yourself to get to your dreams, you know. So if you're playing in this corner here by yourself, you're not really, and you need to get there, you're not really getting there because you're distracting yourself with other things. So what is it that's distracting you at the moment? And how can you let that go in order for you to be true and relevant to your goals and to be able to put that into perspective and work towards them? And so the message for me with regard to this, um, in the, with this card, and what I'm hearing for you for today is follow the leader that's inside of you, but ensure that you are ready to give instruction. Prepare yourself for that so that you can actually give instruction to the universe and uh, so that they may follow through and that you can begin walking towards, walking on that path that will lead you to where it is that you need to get to, whether it is a goal or whether it's a resolution of a matter or whether it's undoing a lot of difficulty that's been, that's preceded uh, this moment. Okay, so that's my message for you for today and I hope that's been helpful here and I thank you for coming by and I wish you a fabulous week ahead till the next time we meet. And for those of you who've chosen the third deck here, um, the question we're asking today is, what is it that you need to hear? And why have you come here today? What is the message that you need to hear? What is the answer to your question? What is the answer to your question today? Okay, I think it's this one here. Yes, I feel quite strongly uh, that this is um, what you, yeah, what this card is. It feels, I'm getting like chills, uh, which is wonderful to know that, to get that kind of confirmation. All right, so what it says here, I'm going to read what's on the card and what's at the back of the card, and then I'm going to give you my interpretation. So for those of you who've chosen number three, it says here, Others' opinions are less important than my personal guidance system. Okay, and once again, I feel like all these cards are related, which I sometimes feel that they are. And I noticed that uh, one of the comments last week, or somebody mentioned that as well, and or or one of uh, perhaps the week before. And uh, for those of you who are, who are watching all of this, then you will understand how they are kind of linked. Um, yeah, I just feel that they've been linked for quite some time now. So this feels like a kind of natural evolution from the last two cards. And um, yeah, so once again, it says others' opinions are less important than my personal guidance system. And I'm going to read what the card says here. It says, you did not intend to use the opinions of others to measure against your beliefs, desires or actions in order to determine the appropriateness of them. Instead, You knew and still remembered long after you were born that it was the relationship between the opinion or knowledge of the source within you and your current thoughts in any moment that would offer you perfect guidance in the form of your emotional guidance system. Okay. All right. So I think that's pretty self-explanatory, but I can expound upon it uh, for a moment. So it's basically telling you to go with what you feel and listen to yourself and hear what it is that you that's being spoken within you. And you know, you may feel this in your body or you may feel this in, in, you know, in the pit of your stomach or you may feel it as it might be a smell or it might be just a, a sensation that you have, some kind of sensation which tells you whether it's OK or it's not OK. And here it's important for you to follow that. And not to follow what is required of you, not to follow what is required from your social standing, from a certain status, 
from your peers, from your family, from your spouse, uh, from your boyfriend, your girlfriend, from your, your children. It's not necessary to do that any longer. If there was ever a moment, the moment is now, to be able to step off that ledge and fly, you know, have, take that faith. I'm not, I'm not suggesting you commit suicide, please, for those of you who are taking it in that way. But basically, give yourself the opportunity to actually fly, to actually choose your own path and go with it. If it wasn't for everything else, for all those things, uh, are the reasons that you're not choosing your path, what would you do? If it wasn't that you needed to continue driving that car or continue living in that house or in that neighborhood or wear, wearing those kind of clothes or having that degree or having that uh, whatever, whatever it is that you needed to do, that ambition, right? If it wasn't for all those things, what would you be doing right now? And if your answer is I'd be doing exactly the same thing that I'm doing right now, then go for it. But if it isn't, if you have even the slightest doubt then it's time to look back and look at where it is that others' opinions have actually been influencing your thought patterns and have been ultimately influencing your decisions and actually have colored you. Because at the end of the day, if you wake up 20 years down the line living somebody else's dream, you're going to have such a great deal of unhappiness and sadness in your life, having gone astray and having lost the time that you have right now. So right now, the time is of the essence. Ask yourself, what is it that I need to do? You know, do I need to give up the, working at this law firm and actually explore at my, myself as a healer? Do I actually need to stop working in this job and travel and do whatever it is that I need to do right now? What is it that's going to lead me to my highest good? And what is it that's going to bring me the most fulfillment? And I know I spoke about this a little bit in the other card, but that's what I'm hearing again. Ultimately, it's about returning or bringing oneself to one's vibration of bliss. Are you feeling bliss in what you're doing? Yeah, before you came to this card reading, did you have a sense of bliss? Or has there been something missing? Or has there been something that's been awry or slightly off balance? something that you could correct. If that is the case, then it's time to go and search for your bliss. Go and search for your happiness and your bliss and don't stop until you find it, okay? Because it doesn't matter what others' opinions are. Their opinions will shape, their, their love or their care or their support will either form or shape around you regardless of your decisions or it'll fall away. If it falls away, it's also okay because... You need to be yourself and you need you more than you need anyone else. And it's important for you to be true to yourself at every step of the way. And if some of those people couldn't follow you, couldn't stay with you on your path, then it's also okay. And you can thank them and you can wish them well and you can, you know, wish them a merry goodbye and actually, you, you know, you can mourn their loss if you need to, but it's not really necessary what you need to recognize is that those who you need will shape themselves around you they'll surround you you know like they'll drape themselves around you in order to support you in order to bring you towards your goals and to help you in your path and those who are you know very well I want to the word stubborn comes to mind but I don't want to use this word I want to say those who have been um, feeling or not not really pushing you all right, pushing you in the right direction is what I was going to say. But for those of you who have been supported by people, because you have a certain goal or an ambition, and it it's got, it has a lot of superficial factors involved, like you know status or, or, or uh, other kinds of things, then like degrees or cars or, or a certain kind of lifestyle, then I think that you need to take a good look at yourself and ask yourself who you really are and what you really are at your core, and what is it that you need to allow to be out in the world? Do you need to kind of to open that window or open that cage and let yourself fly out? Open that window and let the sunshine radiate and be felt upon your skin and let the fresh air 
brush through you and breathe new and feel the wind in your in your hair and just simply choose a new and choose you all right so i'm going to leave you with that there and i'm wishing you a fabulous week ahead i hope that you have everything that you desire and i hope that the message that you've come here for today is actually relevant to you and it, it in fact helps you for those of you who shout at me because the message doesn't resonate well i just want to say that you know it's your intuition that's choosing these cards and yeah so <laughs> i'm just reading the messages um here and i'm wishing you a fabulous week ahead and much love and blessings abound to you all from kismet rising bye then